How has being around so many non-business professionals here in Africa shaped your own business aspirations and trajectory? I've had to reassess um, two things uh, which are equally important. The first one is what matters to people. Not everybody cares about the same things and uh, a lot of people are putting a lot of time and effort and passion for things that provide no money whatsoever, cost them money in fact. Um, and that's been a very humbling lesson to learn, uh, but also very enriching. Um, the second one is uh, the language. Yeah. Uh, there are some terms and some approaches to phrasing a challenge that do not go down well with non-business people. So if you use a very business um, driven language or very financially driven language, uh, sometimes you lose people, uh, sometimes you, you generate uh, uh, the opposite of engagement, resent the language, they think people are there just to to uh, benefit personally from from investments or yeah. from from their job, from their companies. So I think it's very important to never lose track that one that when once uh, once somebody is doing investment in Africa or in a, an emerging uh, market, for um, let's say there is a need to uh, explain all the development. Uh, benefits that yeah. that investment is going to bring uh, and once you put them on the table people suddenly realize that there's much more than the self-interest of those making the investment or those pursuing the venture yeah. there's jobs to be created uh -huh. there's money uh, that's going to, that is going to end up in families uh, school fees and uh, financial advancement and tax being paid to the governments you name it